Before this video starts, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This is why you guys need to sub. If you guys subscribe, we can grow even more as a community. Let's get right into the video without wasting any more time. Hey guys, this is an important interruption. So all the seeds in this video are in no particular order, but a lot of them are really, really cool seeds. And if you want to see what the seed actually is, then click the link in the description below because over here in this video, I'm just going to be naming them as seed one, seed two, seed three, etc. So if you want to see what the real seed is, click the link in the description below and that will bring you a very cool picture filled with all these seeds and what they are. So here is our first seed, marking it off with the top 10. This is a desert temple literally right at spawn. So that's very, very cool. Not many of you guys would have seen that because normally desert temples tend to be in the middle of nowhere and they tend to be in a very shady area. I'm just kidding. So anyways, look at this awesome uh, temple and whoa, forgot that it wasn't creative. And if we jump on this pressure plate, pressure plate as expected, everything's gonna blow up. And uh, yeah, I never actually got to see what's inside of the chest, which is not, great but of course you guys can take a look at the seed for yourself yourselves it's it's pretty pretty cool um judging off of what i'm seeing right now and uh yeah this is a very nice seed never actually used it before in my videos but i will soon wow so here is our second seed and this is a very very cool village why because it's super huge uh and uh of course if you want to see what the seed actually is click in the link down below in the description and wow Look at this village. It is so huge. It keeps going on and on and on and on. Isn't that cool? There is literally no end. Oh my gosh. That is definitely the biggest village that I've ever seen in MCP. If not one of the biggest villages that I've ever seen. That is so cool. So, yeah. That's very nice. What else? Yeah, let me just give you guys a tour. So, let's go inside of this house. Um, where are the chests? I forgot which building the chests are in. Um, but this is a pretty nice view, right? Coming in with the third seed. Now this isn't too significant, but this mushroom is very significant. This is the tallest mushroom ever generated in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Uh, you guys probably didn't know that, but if you guys did know that, don't worry, I'm just teaching the people who don't know it. So, this is the tallest ever mushroom in Minecraft Pocket Edition. And Minecraft in total, not even Pocket Edition, on Xbox and Nintendo Switch, um, PS3, it's crazy. So let's go to settings and of course, video, third person, front, there we go. I'm, ta I'm, I'm currently standing on the tallest building in Minecraft Pocket Edition, and that's not man-made, and that is so cool. Well, I guess that's the wrong title, but whatever. Now, just wait for this seed. It is a mind-blowing seed. Have you guys ever seen a shipwreck? Yeah, okay, maybe you guys have, but have you guys ever seen a shipwreck on top of land? Probably not. So this seed is pretty significant just for that reason. And there's a ravine right below and uh, there's a turtle, right? I think. Okay, look at that ravine, amazing. So that is very, very cool. Standing right on top. Oh, no. Okay, the turtle standing right on top there. Hello, turtle. How are you doing? Are you happy to join us in this video or no? Okay, turtle. I get it. Let's, let's push him back if we can. Okay, don't don't fall in the ravine, okay? All right, so as you can see, this ship probably has a lot of treasure sacked right inside of it. Let's just go down underneath and let's see what treasure this holds us. Wow, this is pretty cool. We have a lot of carrots and stuff. And uh, we, we also have a helmet, so we can obviously wear that. Uh, look at all these books, that's, very nice very very creative and uh, let's get on top and yeah so is there anything else up here probably not probably not oh my god the turtle ended up over here turtle no i'll help you you can you can go down there if you want do you, do you want to go down okay here okay whoa uh no buddy you can't go up there you can't go up there I'm sorry, you're, you're restricted. 
Wow. Now in fifth place, even though there isn't really an order, we have this very, very cool ruins seed. So you spawn right next to a ruin and that gives you a lot of items. The chest, of course. Uh, let's see if the myth is true. Does give you a lot of items? Yes, it does. But none of them are very significant. Uh, there is a treasure map though. That is very, very cool. So we can probably travel to that end to find out what treasure it holds. Probably, I, it, I, I don't know how the treasure system works. So let's just see if we can end up over there. So let's just fly over there. If you guys are still watching, comment below what your favorite seed in this video was. So let's end up in this X. Uh, where exactly? Hmm. Let's see, where exactly? Maybe we have to turn around a bit and just keep heading in the direction. Maybe in the middle of the X? Probably? Let's check it out. Uh, this looks to be fine. Can we dig under here? Yes, we can, and there is no treasure. Hmm. So I don't know how the system works, guys, but you guys can, of course, go ahead and explore in the seed. Link in the description below course to know what the seed is wow. the next seed is so so cool because it is a glitched mesa biome have you guys ever seen this a glitched mesa biome that is so so cool so i i believe there are some chest mine cards somewhere around here but i don't know exactly where uh maybe they're somewhere near the oasis probably or not oh here they are here they are I know exactly where they are there we go and uh, look at all this glitched look at all these glitched blocks actually that's very nice look at this chest mine card what's inside we have so many items this is one of the best seats just for that reason so many items it's like a booster pack basically and uh, yeah look at this we have a golden apple which is probably gonna help us get through the uh, survival night if we are in survival if, if if you guys are in survival so this is definitely one of my favorite seats just for that reason and nothing there uh, okay so where is our next chest minecart so here it is let's open it let's take a look inside let's can we open it can we uh, okay there we go we received all these items uh, we we're getting the same items never more or less what about this one Oh, we're getting a diamond. How cool is that, guys? We're getting a diamond and a bunch of rails. We have 30 plus now. We have 30 plus rails and a bunch of lapis, which in on itself is pretty cool. And then we also have some redstone, which is very cool. Very cool indeed. Uh, some some gold. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's it. There might be more chest mine cards, but I'll leave that up to you guys to explore. So Wow. So here are our last few seeds. Link in the description below if you want to see what the actual seed is. So this seed is super duper cool. Why? Well, it's because it's a very, very, very glitched village seed. So from spawn, it's like right next to spawn. Um, and look at this seed. Look at this. What in the world? And look at the dirt block on the bottom. That is pretty cool. And why is the door all the way up there? That is confusing. I don't know if Mojang did this on purpose or whether it was just a terrain generation glitch or not, but that is so cool. Of course, look at this. There's nothing much below the well, but there are pretty good assortment of villagers in the sense one's a blacksmith, one's a trader. So let's go ahead and look at those wherever they are. Oh, here they are. So trade. Uh, I don't want to trade some emeralds. I want some emeralds, okay? Or else, yeah, I see those are the traits that you should be looking for. I want the emerald, so yeah. And um, yeah, I guess that sums it up for the seed. The next seed just goes to show how much Minecraft alters their own game. So there's a bit of a cross here, not not nothing creepy, but um. Minecraft or Mojang or Microsoft, whoever manages the department officially, has changed things up. So let me show you guys what originally used to be in the seed. So we're at the same view. There's no igloo. 
that's what on the screen right now that's what used to be on the seat but now it's no longer there there's no igloo there so why did they remove this do you guys know if you guys know feel free to leave a comment and uh why, why did they remove this that's very very weird so we're almost there to our last seat so it's gonna take me a while like other youtubers to find out where the actual woodland mansion is because woodland mansions are hidden very very well and if you get inside one of those you must be very well prepared or else you will die by an evoker so i, I think they're evokers yeah they're not texas they're evokers so where where is it let's just go and see where they are uh, it should be parallel to the mushroom area or maybe not maybe not uh it's just gonna take us a bit guys so you guys can forward this part if you guys want i'm not gonna cut it out because i want to show you guys where exactly the woodland mansion is so here it is let's just keep heading this direction i guess do you guys see it i don't see it hmm it, it's there somewhere though so let's go in this direction i see a swamp this can mean something good it's cleverly hidden in this forest isn't it yes it is so that is our woodland mansion and as we go inside we can wait where's the entrance oh there it is so as we go inside look at all that glitch dirt look at all that glitch dirt anyways as we go inside we can see pretty much a lot of things so here here, here are carpets and stuff so if you guys want to steal them of course feel free to do so and use them for your world they're AIs anyways, evokers. Oh, Miguel, you're here to join our game. Just, just, well, it, you're always here to join our game anyways. So, anyways, let's, do we see any chests? Uh, hi. Okay, I'm just gonna put a hi. I'm recording. I know I spelled that wrong. It's just CP him to me. And yeah, so let's keep going in this direction. Is there anything here? Not really. But you guys can explore, of course, this is just showing you guys the seed, but yeah. Oh, look at these invokers, dangerous people. At least I'm in creative. So here's our last seed. Of course, none of these are categorically, you know, um, organized. So of course, this seed is very cool because it gives players very, very, very grassy terrain which means flat terrain, of course. So this flat land is very nice because it's in survival, so you can mine, of course, but you can also build here. So I think that sums it up for our video. Thank you all for watching. And if you got till this point, of course, comment your favorite seed and goodbye.